Got him on the worm, maybe. back here for five flies i don't know why vaughn's making me sit in the dark at a closed store but he is and now we're here talk about some five flies to get you through the third month of the year which would be march yeah let's rock and roll um so with march you know we're coming i mean we're still experiencing those really cold cold days we're still seeing you know expect to forecast pretty much all that first week of march snow 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 cold 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 which we won't complain about, especially after last summer. I think by this summer, probably in the 70s and snowpack was like 60%. So it's good to see, you know, all the mountains getting pounded with snow, even down in the Southwest, pretty much all throughout the state were over 100%, which is awesome to see. With that said, it's gonna kind of extend that tailwater season. So where we're hoping to see those free zones kind of warm up, which they really will, and blooming olives are gonna start getting active. Those caddis are gonna start getting active. Those stoneflies are gonna be molten and all that type of stuff. They're going to be active through March, but it's going to be a little delayed with this cold weather. So keep that in mind. And on those cold days, still fish those tailwaters. We've got some great tailwater options this time of the year. They are going to be crowded. We all know the fabled run of the Dream Stream, Spring, and all that stuff. And we actually were there filming Five Flies because it was like 18 degrees of highs pretty much across the state that day. And everywhere we went, the Arkansas, everything was kind of slushy and a mess. So we reverted back to the old Dream Stream and enjoyed having some solitude there. So while it's cold, take advantage of those tailwater days because there's gonna be less people there during the cold. There's gonna be a ton of people there on the weekends in warm weather. Warm days, free stones. Go to free stones. Fish Arkansas, fish to Colorado, fish to Fork, fish to Eagle. All those rivers are gonna start picking up, especially on any of those days over 35, 40 degrees, kinda of in that range. We're gonna see really active fish, slush free kind of rivers, and you're gonna have a good opportunity to really pound some fish. So that's kind of the rundown for March. Yeah, we got snow. We won't complain. 
Now let's get to the flies. So for the five flies this month, we're going to focus all on jig flies. You know, we're not saying, hey, fish only jig flies in March, but these are great options that a lot of people forget about. You know, whether, you know, it's a great lead fly with some of the bigger imitations that we're going to offer or, you know, great attractors or even as those still waters start ice free in, you know, we got a leech in there, that type of stuff. So some really good options and we're going to kind of give you a breakdown of how to utilize each one and what situations each one of these jig flies is going to offer you success in. So let's rock and roll. On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Dance floor pro. I know you know I go psycho. Fly number one to get you through the month of March is gonna be the jigged squirmy worm, size 12 in a color red. Kind of a cheater fly, but there's nothing wrong with getting a little dirty, especially through March. We're gonna see some kind of ebbs and flows on those free stones. So anytime you know you're getting those slushy days, things open up, you're gonna get some off-color water and it's gonna make a great attractor fly. Gonna give some those fish something to kind of move to and eat um, where they're eager to start eating those big bugs that they haven't seen in the last few months. It's also gonna be a great option on your tail waters, especially like Dream Stream, that type of stuff. If you're seeing those lake run fish, they're used to eating big, big meals. So if you find fresh fish, they're gonna be pretty stupid. You know, so if you're if you're touching a fish for the first you know week or so that it's in that system, they're gonna eat a bigger fly, you're gonna get away with landing that fish on bigger tippet and that type of stuff. Of course, as that fish has been caught five, ten, a bajillion times that it's probably gonna be caught at the dream stream, it's gonna get picky and you're gonna have to revert to that 5X, but start with those big bugs. Those fish love them if it's presented in the right way. Number two that's gonna get you through the month of March is gonna be, you guessed it, Rainbow Warrior. Um, we're fishing it this month in that kind of jigged size, 16 size. Again, kind of for all the reasons we've described in the last few months, a great attractor pattern. It's gonna be something that kind of sticks out in those free stones. You know, great bug on the Arkansas, really productive bug on the Eagle, and also on um, that the Colorado. So fish the Colorado, I'm telling you guys, that's a sleeper river through the spring. A lot of people don't give it credit until they start floating it. Just go fish that river, walk away. You're gonna have great access all the way from, you know, partial all the way down past that Sarah, Newcastle, all that type of stuff. I didn't say Newcastle, I apologize for that. That's kind of a secret area. But uh, it's, uh, it's you know, it's a great productive pattern. It also works on the sail water. It's a great lead fly. Probably my go-to lead fly if I'm fishing, you know, Cheeseman, Deckers. Maybe not right now when it's at kind of 50, 60 CFS, but we're gonna get that bump through March and once you know it's up 80, 125 CFS, that's a great attractor fly. And it's weighted, so you're not gonna get that big splash that you would have, you know, leading with split shot that's gonna get your flies down in those zones. And it's also gonna produce some fish for you. So have that rainbow wear, keep fishing those flies, it's gonna produce for you. Number three to get you through the month of March is gonna be jigged Frenchie. So, you know, you guys probably wondering why we're doing those jig flies. You know, it's kind of a trendy thing and it also makes a ton of sense. Um, heavy weighted flies, a lot of people are, you know, tight line nymphing and all that type of stuff as well. You can still fish them under your indicator. The advantage you're getting from those jig flies is how they're riding in the water. This time of the year, the fish aren't super active feeding. So you want to get it down and that fly is going to snag up less, all that type of stuff, just by the way it rides. So give those a shot. The Frenchie is a great bottom fly. You know, whether you're fishing any of those free stones, Arkansas, kind of a go-to there, especially as those blowing olives are really going to get active. Even the caddis, you know, it's a great kind of rock caddis pattern with that that hot head. For some reason, fish on Arkansas always key in on those sort of things there. So, yeah, that's a good rundown of kind of why those, you know, jig flies are successful. And the Frenchie is a classic, the most classic of all time classics. Our good buddy, guide of the shop, Josh Diller fishes it everywhere he goes while he might look through coke bottles for sunglasses or whatever he wears on his face he's a pretty productive fly fisherman and he's he's turned us all onto that fly and for good reason it certainly produces so frenchies jigged fish them they will produce for you number four it's gonna be coors light jigged coors light <laughs> I like the way the bottle rides through the water. It's kind of sweet. <laughs> Bottoms up for me. Yeah. Um, number four, to get you through the month of March, is going to be Lana Mare's new bug, that kind of jig mini leech. That thing is deadly. You know, fish that all throughout kind of the South Platte drainage as a lead fly. It's so productive there. For some reason, you know, fish key in on that fly. And I think 
more so than anything that it just protects your drifts. You know, a lot of a lot of anglers get away with kind of swinging out. You know, you don't have to worry about that that leech being such a perfect drift. You know, it covers you. If you swing out, you throw a crappy mint in there. That gives that natural action to that fly, and that's actually what the leech looks like in there. So it, you know, fish respond to the naturalness of a crappy drift when you're fishing a leech. It also is going to be probably one of the most productive still water flies you're going to fish come ice off. Just the way it rides there. On Unreal Fly, I'll probably be fishing, you know, if I'm at Delaney, Spinney's, things of those sorts in the coming months, it's going to be three of these on my rig, whether I'm, you know, fishing them at different depths, but a very productive fly at still waters as well. So we're really excited about that fly. And of course, if Landon fishes it, we're, you know, we're going to fish it too because it probably catches fish because that dude does nothing but catch fish. So number four, jigged mini leech, fish it. I'm out of beer. Bummer. Number five to get you through the month of March. It's just going to be meat whistle. Fishing those in size two. Have some streamers on. Great time to fish streamers on those free stones, you know, especially Colorado, Eagle, that type of stuff. Black is kind of the go to color there. It's a simple streamer, you know, John Barr's kind of nailed this one, it's been around and it sells well, it fishes well, it does everything that John Barr's flies do, so it catches, flat out catches fish, so have those rocking and rolling for you through March, you'll be good to go. You gotta have some streamers, you can't just be all nymphs, because nymphing gets boring after a while, so when you're catching too many fish on nymphs, switch to a streamer and catch less fish, that is the goal of streamer fishing. With it. That wraps up five flies to get you through the month of March. You know, if I through March, it's going to be colder than usual. As expected, I think through March, we're generally ready for those 60, 70 degree days. They're coming, but we're not ever going to complain about snow around here, especially after that brutal 2018 season. So the more we get now, the better fishing will be in August, September, October, all that time frame. But yeah, fish those jig flies, fish a bunch of stuff as well. I mean, be sure to have those blooming olives are coming, so don't shy away from those as well. That'll be like fly six through all stages of blooming olives. But yeah, that wraps up five flies to get you through the month of March. We're out of here. Thank you guys for tuning in, and you know where to find us here in the shop. It will be light on when you come in. I promise you that. Um, online, and we'll see you out on the water as well. Take it easy.